Hey now, I'm going to take a triple super trend strategy that I found on TradePro and combined it with a volume indicator I found on the secret mindset to create an even more profitable system over a series of 100 trades. And all you have to do is get your popcorn and crush that subscribe button like it just lit your house on fire right now. I call this system the works because it has seven indicators. It is far more intricate than anything I have shown on this channel thus far. Don't worry about taking notes because as always, the indicator settings and system specifics are listed in the description. The first indicator is the 200 period EMA colored in white. We will use this indicator for trend direction. The second indicator is the standard stochastic set to default inputs and style. This will be one of our triggers. The third indicator is the stochastic RSI, which is also set at default inputs and style. This will be the alternate trigger. The fourth indicator will be the time segmented volume study. I am going to keep the inputs at default and remove the moving average. If you want to know more about this indicator, I have a link in the description to the secret mindset video. The fifth, sixth, and seventh indicators will be the super trend. For all three, I am going to change the style by removing the buy and sell labels in addition to removing the highlighters. But each super trend will use different input settings, which will be identical to the Trade Pro configuration. If you want to watch Eric's original video, the link is in the description. The inner band will use an ATR period of 10 and an ATR multiplier of 1. The middle band will use an ATR period of 11 and an ATR multiplier of 2. And finally, the outer band will use an ATR period of 12 and an ATR multiplier of 3. Now that the chart is set up, we can go over some examples. This chart is Euro versus the Dollar. The long entry rules for the works are first, price above the 200 EMA. Second, the time segmented volume indicator is above the zero line. Third, we have at least two super trend green lines. And four, this is the part where we can use either stochastic or the stochastic RSI. What we are looking for is either indicator to go into the oversold territory during the pullback and whichever indicator you are using, and in this case, it is the stochastic RSI, you cannot enter if either line is touching the overbought territory, which is 80. Everything converges on this candle here. That is our trigger candle. We have two ways to place our stop. We are going to place our stop loss at either the lowest super trend line or the bottom of the pullback, whichever is greater or further away. We're going to target one to one for half our position. When one to one gets hit, we move our stop to break even and target two to one for the other half of our position. And this one hits two to one. We have one more long example. We have price above the 200 EMA. The TSV is above the zero line. There are two super trend green lines. This time, both the stochastic and the stochastic RSI went oversold and are not overbought when this candle closes. This is our trigger. We place our stop at the lowest super trend line and target one to one. When one to one gets hit, we move our stop to break even and target two to one for the rest of our position. And the second half of this one gets stopped out at break even. And now we flip to shorts. These are the rules for shorts. First, price must be under the 200 EMA. Second, we are looking for at least two super trend sell lines. The third item we are looking for is the time segmented volume indicator to be below the zero line. Finally, we need for either the stochastic or the stochastic RSI to be in the overbought territory on the pullback, and neither line can be in the oversold territory or below the 20 line when the other indicators are in line. In this case, we are going to use the stochastic RSI for our trigger. So this will be our trigger candle. We place our stop above the swing high and target one to one for the first half of our position. When one to one is hit, we move our stop to break even and target two to one for the other half. And the second half of this one stops out at break even. I'm going to show you one more short example. We have price below the 200 EMA. The TSV is below the zero line. We have three super trend sell lines. Both the stochastic and the stochastic RSI are in the overbought regions during the pullback. Both are not oversold when all the criteria is met. So this will be our trigger. We target one to one for half our position. 
When target 1 is hit, we move the rest to break even and let the rest ride. And this one goes on to hit 2 to 1. Stick around to the end of the video where I give my thoughts on making this strategy better and give it a trader's landing score. And now it's time to do what I do. Remember, this is just 100 tests on one instrument. If you are thinking of using this system, please do all the required testing and be sure to let our community know what you discovered. Now let's review the test data and go over a couple of ideas on how to optimize this system. This test was done on the Euro US dollar, one hour candles. It took about 16 months to find the 100 trades. 75 hit target one, 44 hit target two, and 25 stopped. Most wins in a row was 11. Most losses in a row was three. Winning percentage was 75%, and the gain on the account risking 2% per trade was 113%. The equity curve here is quite interesting. There is an extended period of consolidation, wins and losses that is moving the chart sideways. This is when most traders start to modify their systems to better fit that specific and finite period of time. But after that, you can see this thing really starts to move. Of course, the works needs more testing to see how it performs over more data, but this is promising. I give this system a trader's landing score of 9. There is much potential here to increase the gains with more optimization and testing. The enemy of great is good. So how do we find the crumbs and make this system better? First, I would like to see what happens when we change the trigger from the two stochastic indicators to one SSL channel. Maybe a custom SSL channel like I showed in this video here. It may make for a simpler entry method. There were definitely good trades missed because both stochastics were in the extreme regions. The second thing you could add is hidden divergence. You can add a MACD or an RSI to the chart. This is an example of what the chart would look like using SSL for a trigger and RSI hidden bearish divergence. Check out this playlist for more profitable systems and have a great day if you want to.